All right, take two. Hey guys, welcome, welcome to our April Stir Crazy. I am Stacey Woodworth, I'm director with Epicure, and alongside two of my amazing good food pals, we are going to bring you Epicure on the go. So the point of these Stir Crazies has just been for us to once a month pop on these Zoom calls and share with you some more tips and tricks so that you're getting the most out of the Epicure that you have or to get some inspiration and some meal ideas um, or things to certainly simplify life, right? That's what we're all about here with Epicure. So today I have the privilege of kind of kicking us off. And what we want to do is, um, of course, in the comments, you can share where you are from, who's your consultant, and maybe share, like we just asked, where are you traveling to? Whether it's your backyard or you're going on a trip or going camping, just share with that in the comments. We'd love to see that. And then I totally lost my train of thought, so I'm going to kick it over. We're going to start with Sherry, right? Sherry, you're up first. I am up first. So I am up first. We kind of went chronological in how long are you going to be away from home order for um, Epicure on the Road. So I'm up first because I'm doing the day tripper. And when I think of a day tripper, I think car rides. We're going somewhere. We need snacks on the road. Or maybe you're just going from one sporting, you know, event for one, one of your kids to the other. Um, or maybe you're just having a picnic or maybe you're just going to your backyard like I am right now because we're in lock lockdown and picnics are happening in my backyard as, as about as much as we're doing here. Um, so I've got a couple things I want to share. First, um, some products that I think are really handy to have in your car on the road. Mine definitely did. Did I freeze? I see Stacy looks like she's frozen. <laughs> did I freeze? Yes, uh, yes. Somebody give me a wave if I'm yes, okay. Yes, you did freeze, but we can hear you now. Hello, Stacy, are you still there? Now you're back. You're back now. I'm back now. Oh my goodness. Okay. I don't know what happened there, but we didn't, we didn't get most of it. We got I can't hear you. to the backyard. <laughs> Your screen is frozen again, Sherry. I hear nobody. Oh, oh no. Welcome Sherry. to technology guys. I don't know if you guys can hear me or not. <laughs> we can hear you. I'm good to go. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So give me a wave. If you went on a long car ride with kids that got bored, they want snacks, they've got nothing to do, but they want snacks and you don't want to mess in your car. Totally me, right? How many car rides has that been? So have you seen these? These are our muffin makers. So first thing that makes me think of when my kids were little, they wanted fun. They wanted those like how many kinds of snacks can you have? So imagine in the car, you can just pop their snacks into these openings and just let them hold it on their lap. And they've got this nice tray that's going to keep their snacks so you can put some pretzels you can put some veggies you can put some crackers meats little bits of different things in here um, and then it's just an easy cleanup thing it's flexible it's not anything they're gonna you know toss in the car and break um, so I love that you can also like keep in mind too snacks portion size kid size portion adult size portion these are perfect for that as well but also you could put um, you know sorting things you could put something in here as a game that you could put in like maybe you want to sort your different colored i don't know beads and you put them and you say move them all the way around the circle and separate all the colors you could do that when you're sitting maybe at the picnic table and they're trying to keep busy so i think muffin makers are really handy they're also kind of handy when you're at the picnic table to dole out the lunch and say hey i'm keeping that you know all kind of separated maybe you've got a picky eater that doesn't like their food to touch Lots of ways you could use this on the go, especially for a picnic or a car ride. The other thing that I was thinking of when my kids were little, how many guys wanted coloring space? Like imagine, pop it on your lap, you've got a coloring desk. And maybe when you get to your picnic, you're gonna put in a cutting mat and cut up a small slice of watermelon. Like guys, you've, you've got 
something here that can be multi-purpose for your car rides. So I love that. I also love, like if you've got four of these, which I happen to have, and you have the liners that go with, you've got some placemats, you've got some serving trays wherever you arrive to. And I love that they're really easy and compact. Plus, if you're just using the liners and these are your cleanup, you just roll them out. They fit so much easier in your carry carrying cases. Now, speaking of placemats, you ever get to a picnic table, give me a wave, get to a picnic table and you're like, oh my gosh, I forgot a cutting board. Oh my gosh, I need a placemat. This table is dirty. Happens, right? So these cutting mats, if you don't have a set of these, buy two. Like I swear I have so many uses for them. But look, don't they look like placemats? So, and they're also really nice and thin. They, you know, kind of pack up similarly, you could roll them, but I like that they're flat. And you can use these as placemats, but you've also got a really great cutting surface because that's what they are, they're cutting mats. So those are a couple tips for like your picnic party. Maybe you're going out to the backyard and you want something that's on the grass on that blanket that's a little bit cleaner for a place for your food to set. Lots of little things, you know, going from the house to the picnic or your back deck, carrying food, all kinds of ways that you can use our Epic Your Products like that. Now, um, I wanna show you something that I will do often when I'm going either to somebody's house, to a barbecue, um, and maybe I want to bring a small salad because I have dietary issues and then I know there's something that I can for sure eat. Like say you're gluten free and you know that there's going to be a pasta salad there that maybe you can't eat. You could bring your own pasta salad. So what I did was I prepped all my ingredients ahead, except for one, I'm going to just do the dip together with you guys. So while I talk, I'm going to show you a two for one um, dip and dressing. So who here, raise your spatulas loves veggies and dip. Come on guys, everybody should love veggies and dip. So that's kind of your snack on the go kind of for kids, right? So I mean, raise your spatula again or spin your, spin your stir stick. If you're headed somewhere and your kids are like, mom, I'm hungry, right? So prep a snack for the road and for what you're taking. Maybe you're taking this salad for, um, you know, something for bringing to the event or maybe to your picnic or whatever, but you've got two for one here, snack for the road and, and I'm not measuring this guys, to be honest, I don't ever measure this. <laughs> one last dirty dish, especially when you're going out the road, out the door to the, out on the road, you don't want dirty dishes in your sink. So keep it as clean as possible. Just, I'm eyeballing it. You can measure it if you want. So I'm just putting mayonnaise and Greek yogurt because that's what my family likes. And then I'm grabbing the ranch dip because I mean, what goes better with veggies than ranch dip? That's kind of everybody's, oh, that's my empty jar. That was what I was gonna teach you in, showing you my trick for the road. <laughs> Grab the ranch dip now. And I'm putting in three tablespoons. Maybe I'll go a little short on that one. I don't think I measured quite a full cup of each. Then stir it up. Now that dip is made as dip. Now I'm also gonna use this as a little bit of a dressing because I'm also making pasta salad. Remember I said I was doing that? So the dip is going to go, I've got an empty jar here. What do we do with our empty jars? Use them for the road guys, stick your snacks in them, throw some nuts, throw some crackers, throw some cheese. Your kids are gonna like picking it out. They're gonna have something that they can, you know, hold in the car or fill these jars up with some dip and I've got some pre-cut. Here's another tip, cut your veggies ahead of time when you're going somewhere. Like that four cup prep bowl, I love it. Pop some veggies in and now I cut these to the length that they will fit in this jar. And you've got veggies, dip for the road with a lid. You pass them back to your kids. They've got a snack and they're not whining, right? So now let's get the pasta salad made. All right, so I am going to add the ingredients. So have you seen, raise your spatula if you've seen our one cup prep bowl. These are like one of my favorite picnic partners. So I love these because A, they're perfect size for portioning things out. 
they're stackable. I love the, the silicone lid. But when I'm going somewhere, maybe I want to prep the salad at my friend's house or at the picnic table. Um, I can put the ingredients in it, which I've done, and I can just dump them in as I need. So how do I make this ranch dip into a dressing? Well, I could leave it just as thick as it is right now. I'm going to thin it a little bit just by adding a little bit of milk. Now, we like our dressing for our ranch a little bit on the thicker side, so I'm not making it the full dressing, but if this was for a green salad, you would want it a little bit thinner. So just add a little bit of milk, stir it up. There's two for one. We just did dip and dressing. So collapsible strainer here is holding my pre-cooked pasta. That's something you can do the night before. Just cook it up. I've only done a cup of pasta, so it makes two cups when it's cooked. Dump it into my four cup prep bowl. Now I could just pop the lids on and go because all of my ingredients are already in here. But we're gonna have this for supper with burgers. So I put some carrots and some celery in here. Toss that in. We like kind of like a bacon ranch salad when we're doing it. So chunks of cheddar. Toss that in. We'll make it a BLT. Add some tomatoes and lettuce. A little bit of lettuce. We've got some good kind of nutrition going on here. And again, I could just pop the lid on if I only wanted one container and go. But I'm gonna put the dressing together. The longer it sits, I kind of like it better. So we'll put the dressing in with it and mix. Who has made ranch salad as a pasta salad before? Raise your spatula and stir it up. So this is a really easy kind of throw it together, going on the road meal. So if you're taking some sandwiches or you're taking some maybe leftover Southern baked chicken, that's really great picnic food. Um, you know, make up a salad, easy as can be. We'll just toss it all together. And then if you were taking it already pre-made, we just put this great lid on. I love these silicone lids. They're so great for sealing. And there we go. So we got a little bit of a salad there. And I love having the ingredients ready, whether it's for the day of or for hitting the road. Now that four cup prep bowl, if you guys are liking the looks of that four cup prep bowl, I love them. They're so handy. This month's host special guys, you also get these two exclusives, which are my favorite salad toppers. So we've got the garlicky dill and the smoky Sweet and smoky, I always wanna call smoky tomato, smoky bacon because that's what it used to be called. If you've been around with Epicure for a while, that's what it used to be called. Um, but the smoke, sweet and smoky and the garlicky dill plus the four cup prep bowl is a host special for the month of April. And I'm gonna put that sweet and smoky topper on as my um, bacony flavor. Of course, if you want even more bacon, add some better than bacon because that's a great salad on the road topper. Have you guys ever been to a restaurant and you're like, I need to dress up that salad, it needs something? Stick a pack of better than bacon in your purse. <laughs> you won't regret it. The other thing that I think is a great on the road kind of packet, you might need it no matter whether you're at a restaurant, whether you're at a picnic, whether you're at a friend's house, pack some SPG. It's one of my favorite salt, pepper, garlic. And I'm gonna tell you my trick for on the road because you need a, little bit of a shaker top right save your shaker top so if you've got a topper a jar an empty jar that has the shaker top and those are the ones that open up and they've got the shaker on it save that for the ones that don't come with the shaker top like spg where you can just shake it on now out of your purse nobody will know super handy now guys if you prefer a salad that has a vinaigrette make it up in your cruet and take it along too so that's a few things on the road. Um, yeah, just some really healthy ways that you can have some great meal for a picnic, some fun things that you can throw some snacks on for your kids and chop up things using your cutting mats as a placemat and a um, cutting mat when you need it. So I'm gonna pass it on. I think Tracy is up next because she's got the next length of time that she's gonna be away. Go Tracy. Hi, everybody. My name is Tracy Castor, coming at you from Gilbert, Arizona. I have been having some IT issues in my house today. So if, uh, if there's any problems, put a note in the chat. Maybe Stacy or, 
or Sherry will see that. But I am going to talk to you about uh, overnighting and whether that's overnighting in a hotel room or in a VRBO or a Marriott property that might have a microwave, all of those sort of pieces. Let's go back. There we go. Um, I'm really talking about that stuff. And I got to be honest, I've done an absolute ton of this with my kiddos, whether it be soccer tournaments or taking them on the road or traveling across the country. Um, it's something that we do fairly regularly. And we also do like to go to hotels or little places that are more like an apartment that have a kitchen. And I don't want to eat out the whole time. Not only can my waistline not manage it, but my wallet can't manage it. So I like to be able to take enough for us to cook. So I'm going to start first talking about our silicone um, cookware. This is our rectangular steamer. And um, it's a great little size because sometimes when you go to those hotel rooms, especially a hotel room that says it has a coffee maker and a microwave, the microwave is usually super tiny. Uh, won't always fit something large that we would expect to fit in our microwaves at home. So this is a great one because it'll almost fit anywhere. And while we're doing this, I'm gonna show you a super easy snack to make on the road. So in here, I have some broken up bits of graham cracker. And I'm actually just gonna take some marshmallows and put on here. Just gonna put one on each one. So, you know, easy stuff to take with you as you go. I made these last night at a friend's house too. So my kids know I'm making these and they're like, when are you making the s'mores? Um, so I'm going to put this in the microwave for uh, about two minutes. We're going to check it. I'll do that. Lid. Go. All right, we're going to let that go and I'm going to keep talking. So I know Sherry talked about the, the uh, prep bowls. One of the reasons I always take at least two of these, and if I have two of them, they stack well, is, well, a couple of reasons. They're great for taking things. If you know you want to do a bit of baking while you're there, you can put little amounts of sugar, or if you're like sugar in your tea or coffee and you're not sure it's going to be there. It's a great place to put things like sugar or powdered creamer if that's your thing, um, perfect. But also measurements on the side. And as I like to point out, American measurements, Canadian measurements. So imperial and metric all on one. They go in the dishwasher, they go in the fridge. And when you leave a place, when you go to pack up and leave a hotel or any of those overnight places, if you have leftovers you wanna take, and it, the, um, the container that's in there belongs to the VRBO, you're sort of left going, well, I guess I have to throw it out. Not if you pack a few of these, you bring it with you, put it in your own cooler. <clears throat> so I always have these. The other thing these are great for is if you fill it with water to the half cut mark right there, very gently crack an egg in there. You can salt pepper it if you want, but you don't need to yet. In the microwave, depending on how you like it, 50 seconds in our microwave will make a soft poached egg, which is how my husband likes it. I like my poached egg fully all the way cooked. So I do it a little longer, probably almost a minute. Uh, and it comes out perfect. You use a little slotted spoon to get it out. Poached egg in here. You can do it in your hotel room in the morning. More and more we've seen hotels, even if we can get back to traveling. And I know everybody on here can't yet. But when we can, we're seeing a lot of hotels that are making breakfast buffets go away or just doing a quick muffin on the go or uh, everything's pre-wrapped. Or maybe they're not having breakfast at all. Also in VRBOs and, and the Marriott property type things that have stuff in their kitchen, they're doing it. Um, they're, they're, uh, a number of things are showing us that um, they're scaling back what's in their kitchen because the more stuff in their kitchen, the more they have to sanitize, the more they have to clean. And also I personally find that I prefer to um, take things of my own so that I don't wreck anything there. I don't want to be responsible for anything. So I'm going to show you a couple other things. Uh oh. They went over, so I've never done this in my, um, in my rectangular one. They're definitely cooked. Went over the side. This is what happens, live cooking, it's totally fine. They're gonna be great. Uh, they went over the edge, so that's when I put my head on it. I'm gonna grab this. So mental note, Sherry, we talked about this just before. Two minutes was too long. We, I always do these in the multi-purpose steamer and that would not happen. That's so funny. This is live And that's such, a, that's such a tell though, that when you're somewhere else, you don't know the microwave. So that right. might happen to you. It's yeah, okay. Start with one minute. Start with one minute. <laughs> um, so in the multi-purpose steamer, two minutes is absolutely perfect. Softens them up. What I would do if this wasn't all over the top and going on my cell phone is I would throw on Hershey's. You can also do a peanut butter cup. Um, the Hershey's cookies and cream is really good on there. Top with one and then pop them straight out. A couple of things to remember when your steamer is hot like this is, you never wanna put a knife in there or um, like a lifter, like the kind with pointy metal corners because it could pierce your steamer. So um, yeah, start with one minute. That's my tip on that. Something I always take 
is um, the sheep pen line. And Sherry already talked about these, but I'm gonna talk about them a little different. So this is a small one, because it happens to be here, my large ones over there. I did a demo already this morning and I haven't got around to washing it. But these uh, are amazing to take anywhere because they'll fit in the pan that already exists. So how many times have we personally gone to a Marriott property or something else and then gone down to the store in the lobby where they charge you 10 times for everything and bought a roll of tinfoil or bought a roll of parchment paper and then usually throw it away on my way home because somehow I acquire so much more stuff on vacation that it will not fit in my suitcase to fly back home. So I take these all over. They, as Sherry mentioned, they're super small roll up to nothing, but um, protect the pan of anyone else. They'll also double as a lid this way over a small pan in the oven. So rather than covering it with tin foil, if you're doing a little lasagna, and of course the larger sheet pan is gonna cover those as well. Other things I always take are my four in one spice spoon. You never know what type of measuring utensils are going to be at a place. And if you're at a hotel with just a microwave, there's probably none. If you haven't seen this gadget, it's the four in one spice spoon tablespoon, teaspoon, half teaspoon. And when you hold it like this, it's a quarter teaspoon. And most important, it fits in our jars. Speaking of our jars, I generally, when I go somewhere, I only take the spices that fit in my steamer. It forces me to weed it out. If I looked at all my Epicure spices, I'd want all of them, frankly, because we use a lot of them. I'm a product of the product for sure. However, if I can fit it in my steamer, that's what I take. So let's go through, these would be my big hit list ones. This is a number one in our house, the urban garlic sea salt, uh, big chunks, of, there we go, of herb, garlic, um, salt, grinder on the top. And what I love about taking this is this grinder comes off. So now I've got something extra. And when I pack something like my poco picante, which is a favorite in our house, a little spicy for me, but it's one of Troy's favorites, this grinder will fit on this jar. So if I don't like the poco picante big and chunky like it is right there, then I can put this on and make it finer. Um, this has been used for popcorn in our house, lots of other things. So it's great to take any grinder because it'll interchange with any tall jar. So poco picante, I would take, obviously you can make salsa with it, but also great for chicken marinade. If you like it a bit spicy, um, we put it in the eggs all the time. And as I mentioned, popcorn. Uh, SPG, as Sherry mentioned, would always go with me on vacation, salt, pepper, garlic, all the time. And what I love about it is how fine it is. It's so fine. My kids think they don't like black pepper, but what they don't like is big chunks of black pepper. So this is so fine. You get all the flavor and none of the big gritty pieces, which is awesome. Uh, three onion, I would always take, especially if I'm thinking of doing soups or stews, uh, because three tablespoons of this is equal to one chopped up onion without all the tears. It is literally big chunks of dehydrated onion, perfect for on the go, um, which is a fave. I love the CCB as well. Similar to the three onion, except for nice big chunks of our better than bacon right in there. Makes a great dip, great in eggs, but also good in sauces or soups. And last but not least, herb and garlic is a nice sort of once for all. Again, fine blend of herb and garlic, great for a marinade. You can make a salad dressing out of this. To me, this is one that can be used in so many different ways if you only want to take enough products to fit in the round steamer. Speaking of our round steamer, uh, we have two host specials in the month of um, May coming up for anyone considering hosting a class and May is going to be amazing. Um, so this is one of them, our round steamer, which you can buy at full price if you like paying full price. I don't know about you, I don't like paying full price. So you can get it at a host exclusive price for hosting a qualified class in the month of May. You can also get it for half price or, um, or free one of those items. And I love the round steamer for doing soups and stews when I'm on the road. So if I'm in a, I have eaters, anyone on here who's heard me talk before talks about my eatitarian kids and they love to eat and they love comfort food. So yeah, there you go. Get that spoon up if you, if you have eaters in your house. So my couple of my favorites to take that are super easy to make in all you need is the microwave is the African sweet potato stew. It's Wyatt's favorite. He loves it. He said it's like tomatoes, curry, and coconut milk had a baby. Those are his words, not mine. Um, but yeah, it's a favorite. Other ones that are great are the hearty chicken stew, um, some of the soups, or even just buy some ramen noodles and take a nourish broth, broth with you. This is my other son's favorite. Uh, better than um, simply baked, better, simply better baked beans is a tongue twister. Um, Stuart loves this one. Anytime I make it, he eats about half of it. You're simply just throwing it all in the round steamer. And what I like about the round steamer is it's a little bit sturdier for soups and stews, especially if it's more full. So that's our round steamer and our host special. Well, one of our host specials for May. Stacy's going to talk about the other. 
But a couple other things I always would take with me. Um, I would take our knives, a couple of reasons. It's ceramic, so it's got this sheet. So you're not, when you're reaching into your bag or your laundry basket, I have a tendency to pack things in the laundry basket when I travel. Does anyone else do that? Easy to carry in. When I pack in a laundry basket, I don't need to worry about the point coming out the side. I don't need to worry about reaching in and cutting myself. Um, ceramic knives are great. And if you're going to take a ceramic knife of yours, I would also consider a cutting board. My cutting board's in the dishwasher, only because not all places have cutting boards and you do not want to use this on a countertop. So remember that. Um, the other thing I like about this knife is it's bull nose. So I can push it actually pretty hard right into my hand and it's not going to cut me. This is very sharp. The end is not. So cutting out things like avocados, slicing a tomato, it's a little safer because it doesn't have that super pointy, pointy edge. Last but not least, the one I would take no matter what, because look how little it is, honestly, could fit in your purse, is the omelet maker. So um, obvious for omelets. Two minutes, you're one and done. I just made one two hours ago for a cooking demo I did for a customer of mine. But other things you can do in here and reach out to your consultant if you own one and want more recipes, or if you want to get one, um, there's a hash brown casserole recipe, there's a lazy French toast recipe, there is a pancake recipe, and I recently just heard of a customer who put a whole chicken breast in here. So imagine there you are after a soccer game on the road, and yeah, it's fun to eat junk. I have a junk food taste myself. I love a bag of chips. I love Mike and Ike's are like my absolute favorite candy, I think. But when you're on the road, and I know my soccer player, I like to try and get him healthy food at least some of the time when we're on the road. Imagine being in your hotel room, pulling out a raw chicken breast out of your cooler, putting it in here, six minutes, a little bit of SPG, you're having a chicken salad if that's what you want, or you're slicing it up and putting it on a sandwich. Such an amazing way to stick to a healthier lifestyle and, and good eating while you're on the road. I'm looking at my notes to make sure I didn't miss anything. No, I think I got all the stuff I wanted other than I cooked the s'mores for one extra minute. So I will, the kids are gonna come out when I'm done this and ask me to remake the s'mores, which I will do. One minute. Well, and I think we could also say that omelet maker can go into your day tripper because I don't know how many of you guys, I don't work outside of the home anymore, but when you're cooking lunch at work, that's a perfect thing to take back and forth from work too. So love the omelet maker. Mm -hmm. Over to you, Stacy. Yeah, my turn. And I think you guys will see that there's a crossover, right? It really doesn't matter what you're doing as far as travel, but we're wanting to share with you different tips and things that in your own kitchen or if you are traveling. So I've been tasked with the camper. Um, I love that Epicure has actually been providing the funds so that we can travel and do the camping thing. So I'm learning as I go. But what I wanted to share with you guys are just some of the tips and um, tricks that we have learned so far. Uh, and they are abundant, but of course, afterwards, I would love for you guys to stick around if you have other tips and tricks that you can share with us as well. We learn from our customers equally so. So when I think of camping, you know, some of the problems that we encounter ultimately is, I don't know about you guys, but first of all, space. Whether you are tent camping or you are doing it in a trailer or a motorhome, space is at a premium. And also when I am leaving home to go camping, I don't want to be in the kitchen. I want to be outside. I want to be exploring. Um, so wanting to share with you just some quick um, tricks around that. So first one being, actually, I'm going to show you some of this. I think I got this camera low enough. No, maybe not. I'm going to go a little lower. So what I wanted to show you first is I love multiple, multiple use things, right? So let me go all the way to the base of this. So Sherry and Tracy both spoke about the one cup prep bowls. They have these great silicone lids. Did you guys know that they're fantastic as no skin pads? <laughs> so here is one, I have four of them down and they're basically acting like coasters or for me, they're gonna be a no skid um, function. So I'm gonna use in this case, so a couple of ideas again for your sheet pan. I've got, this is our big one, but you can use your sheet pan First of all, just to carry stuff out, right? So carrying stuff out to the camp um, fire or just transferring stuff, picnic table to camper or whatever. So love this just for a carrying thing. I also love our roll-up rack. So this was, this just came out last year, right guys? Am I remembering that right? I totally look like I froze. Nope, you're good. It totally okay. came out last year. 
Yeah. So this came out last year and I was like this, I don't need this. And people were like, no, you need this. I got it. They were right. No, you need this. So at home, what I can do is it lays across my um, sink and then it can be a draining rack. Um, I can use it for cutting my, oh yeah. Th thanks Sherry. Um, I can cut like Sherry was talking about cut my melon right over the sink. All the juice is just going through that in a camper. This can also lay across that sink and extend your counter space or put it across your sheet pan. Now this can be dual purpose. First of all, this could be my drying rack, right? So maybe I've washed dishes and I can lay stuff here and it's just going to drain through. I can use it as that cutting surface. So I can just put, um, I'm gonna put my cutting board on top, but now I've got this sturdy surface. And again, I've got those coasters underneath. Nothing is moving. So I love this. Um, I love this roll up rack for so many of those uses just in a, in a really tight space. That was really, really handy last year. The other thing that I've really loved in terms of tools is the mandolin because it is um, just like multiple cutting abilities. So my husband loves campfire cooking. His mom is on here. I think she, he learned it from Jane. So thanks, thanks mom. <laughs> um, but he loves himself uh, a good breakfast. So like a potato, an egg skillet. So you can use the mandolin to slice up potatoes and make them, um, like scallop-like potatoes, you can do hash browns, you can do any veggie though, really. Carrots, apples. So I am doing an apple because, um, look, it just makes it so quick and it's one tool and I can have these really awesome little apple slices. We can do apple sandwiches, but I could also pop this blade out I really like, again, that it's one thing, but I can get multiple uses out of it. So it comes with different blades. So I could swap in this Julian blade. And again, whether I'm doing um, a salad or I'm gonna do potatoes, if I had potatoes, I could do this and I could make some hash browns, right? But super fast. Now I've also got these Julian. So I'm going to put this on top of a salad, but if this was potatoes, this could be a hash brown. I could make um, foil packed potatoes or I can do, like I said, a great breakfast. So I love the mandolin. Um, really sharp, really fast, really easy cleanup. So carrots, cucumbers, just all the things. The mandolin is a great, a great um, minimal space type of um, product. And then to that same point, um, I know Tracy was just talking about this collapsible strainer, but this has been, this has been so great because again, when it comes to the camper, we needed multiple use stuff. So it collapses down super small, but then it was useful for washing fruits and veggies. Or if you have a nine-year-old boy that likes to go and fish stuff out of a creek or a river, or you're able to go pick some berries, like maybe you go to um, a, a berry patch or something. You can, you know, you've got this. I think Tracy said that she has a customer that just keeps this in her car and she just will just jump out and go pick fresh berries. But how awesome, because this can just be anywhere tucked away. And for, um, Oh, I keep doing this. I was trying to put it down because it also becomes with this silicone, our silicone again is heat resistant. So this can become a hot a trivet for the picnic table. So you've got your picnic table, maybe you've got your fun um, tablecloth, but now you've used a pot or you have something hot coming off the grill. This, it's this really nice base, but it will protect then your tablecloth. So I love that. Again, one product, multiple use, and camping, I have to talk about our multi-purpose pot. A great tip that Tracy just shared with you is, of course, you can put your spices in here and so everything is tucked. It's not going to be jostling around. But again, with this flat bottom, this is really appealing because um, oftentimes they have those induction cooktops and this is absolutely safe for that. So you can use this on 
um, a gas range. You could use this over the campfire. You could use this on an induction top. So really great. And if you know the multi-purpose pot, you know these great features. It's got the drain holes right there. So yes, I could use my collapsible strainer, but if I don't need to, I can simply just drain right out of this one pot um, and have that. So I really, really enjoy these ideas when it comes to space saving, right, for camping so that I can, um, you know, make some food and then get back outside. I also, we shared this in our last, I think it was last time, yeah, when we did the cookware, but the cruet is great for eggs. So imagine if you're going to go camping for a weekend, you know that your family loves eggs. Instead of playing the, please don't break any eggs in the cooler, <laughs> please don't break any eggs in the camp fridge, you can just go ahead and crack your eggs right into your cruet. You can put your huggy on it, as my friend uh, as my friend likes to say, I call it a koozie, but put your bottle koozie on there. So now you've protected your glass jar, put your eggs, put your seasoning. You're going to shake that up. And now you've got your scrambled eggs that you can pour into your cast iron pan or put into your multi-purpose steamer or however you want to cook up your eggs. But that's a great tip. So the eggs would already be broken in here. That way you can just leave your egg crate at home. Does that make sense? So I love that you have this. In the morning, you've made eggs. Now you wash out your bottle. Now in the afternoon or for evening, you could make up a fresh salad dressing. Or what I have been enjoying this week is I made up a simple syrup. So I've been using that in um, just putting it with some sparkling water and some frozen fruit. Just a really great fresh drink. But you could certainly do that um, for kiddos. My son absolutely loves this in place of, you know, one of those sugary drinks or a soda or something, it's just fizzy water, some frozen fruit is what I've done here. And then the simple syrup. One of the other things that I think of when I think of camping is I wanna do some of that work ahead of time so that I'm, I don't have to be in the kitchen or around the, um, just doing the prep. So definitely freezer meals is something that's fantastic and if you, have any interest in that, be sure to connect with your consultant because we actually are running a freezer meal workshop in the week to come and we can get you some recipe ideas, share more information with you. But a really simple thing is um, think of prepping ahead some meat. So take your favorite meat or find a meat that's on sale. I love to do this ahead of time. When you see the chicken has gone on sale, bring that chicken home and sort it out, right? Portion it into freezer bags as you would like. And then simply season it up. You can do, of course, a whole variety of meals. You guys know this. If you know Apicure, you know that we have so many different flavors to offer you. Although sometimes you just need simple, you need basic, right? So I love some of the same spices that these ladies have shared. I also enjoy, and one of our best collections is actually on sale right now. So I wanted to highlight a few of those. But I love to do chicken with something like guacamole. My family buys this three jars at a time because not only do we love guacamole, this is one of our favorites on chicken and shrimp. Um, I also love to make salsa and to put this in there. So really versatile, but I could have had this packed into the camper and I've got one spice blend or I ahead of time, I have my freezer bag. Imagine your freezer bag, you've got your chicken breast. I put in a little bit of my favorite oil and then I season it up with just one of our blends. Zip up the bag, get those spices mixed around, and then it goes into the freezer. And then when we go to go camping, I'm putting those in the cooler. Yeah, first of all, it acts as part of my ice, right? And then by the time I'm ready to cook, um, it's had an opportunity to thaw out. I also love in this Epic Life collection, again, this is on special right now. So it's a great way if you are getting a camper for the first time this season, or you're getting a vacation home or setting up a second home. This is a great collection to stock that second place that you've got because this has got so many uses. Um, so Poco Picante is also one of our favorites. Like Tracy was mentioning into eggs, into salsa, into burgers. Um, so love that spice blend. And then I make my simple syrup right now. I've been doing it with the summer berry. So using that to make up some popsicles for kiddos or um, a, a fun drink.
But I know for some people, like traveling means for us, I have to be really um, mindful of what I'm eating. I can't just stop at the drive through and grab a burger. Like the buns don't work for me. So I like that I can take Epicure with um, prepping ahead a meal or just simply grabbing these spices, knowing that I can take a few of these and I can make a variety of meals, anything from a dip to a dressing to um, a seasoning for a protein, seasoning for my eggs. And I really, really enjoy that. And of course, you gotta take your four in one spice spoon because it just um, takes up no space, one tool and you've got four measuring spoons. Um, and then the last thing I was going to share about, oh yes, you guys in May, what makes May an extra special month to host? I don't have mine yet, though they are amazing from everything I have heard. Epicure is, has these amazing, beautiful, let me show you the picture, but they are these metal skewers and hosting, you get them um, at a significant discount and they come in this beautiful case. I will tell you, we have metal skewers. I don't love them because the stuff gets stuck and it's the wrong shape for me to push it off. But I bet Tracy's gonna show you. The Epicure ones have this amazing slide that will then push the meat right off, the meat, the veggies, whatever you put on your kebab, it's gonna push it right off that skewer. There it is here, Stacy. Can you see it? Yeah, thank awesome. you. Awesome. And then what's neat is it locks in place. So, oh, did you hear that? Listen, it locks, so it won't move. And then when you want it to move, it's a simple push and off they go and it gets everything off. So if you've got a kiddo who can't eat a whole skewer, you can easily go and half the skewer on one plate, half the skewer on the other plate. I love these things. We got them last year and they're amazing. Yeah, I remember people saying it and then I just didn't get mine. I have to be honest, if I'm being honest, I'm not um, normally a kebab person because we'll just throw stuff in a grill basket, but I've met so many people that they love kebabs. They love to do that. And of course, like it's certainly one of those fun things to create, create your own kebab. So that's again, just a great perk for anyone that is interested in hosting um, a May, hosting a cooking class, you can host it now, you can host it in May, but you'll, you'll get that as an added um, host benefit. So I think that was all I was going to share around camping. And I'm gonna flip it back to you guys. Okay, I was gonna show, cause I happen to have my koozie here. So this is the type of koozie that would fit Stacy's Cruette. It's a normal beer one, forgive that it says beer on there. Zipper in the back so it opens and it'll slide on there. I even keep mine in the fridge in this, to be honest. We have travertine floors, that's essentially stone. So if, if my cruette falls out of my fridge, because my kids are reaching around, or my husband, reaching around looking for something, and that cruette falls, it will smash. So this saves it from that. So that's a big bonus. And I want to show you one other thing. Who has empty wine bags laying around? The kind that you give to people? Do you know what fits in these when you're on the road? Your mandolin, straight in, enough room for, and then that blade, which is sharp, is tucked away, enough room for the um, hand guard in there as well. So that's my little mandolin tip. <laughs> well, thanks for joining, Sherry. Are you doing the call to action? I, I didn't have my original notes in front of me. Well, I was just having a little bit of snack for the road, but I can pause <laughs> for a second. Isn't that cute, guys? Like, pass that back to your kids, right? Um, yeah, so guys, we love coming to you to share all these tips and tricks and, and all that, you know, Epicure can be used for in so many different ways that maybe you guys haven't thought about. Um, it's not just a one shot kind of trick pony. When we talk about Epicure, there's so many ways you can use your products and, and we love being able to share with you some ideas that maybe you didn't think of before. So while you're out and about this summer, because spring is here and we are about to start the, you know, the fun season. Um, think about what your Epicure can be used for um, to make your life a little bit easier. So um, a call to action, guys. I want you to reach out to your host. And, and if you've seen some host special, or reach out to your host or your consultant. If you've seen um, some host specials that are, um, you know, appealing to you, if you think that four cup prep bowl there's, is appealing and those exclusive, you can't get these in the catalog dips or toppers. Um, if you think those are something you want, there's still time in April for a class. If you're thinking I'm all about the grilling, you know, talk to your consultant and, um, you know, get those skewers because I, I kid you not, last year I liked them so much I got two. Um, and, <laughs> and I made 
maybe I'll get a third one this year. Who knows? Um, but yeah, the, the grilling season is about to start. Um, and that round steamer, like who doesn't love things at a major discount? Like why wouldn't you want to get it as a host exclusive? Because I don't know, guys, who wants to pay full price? I don't want to pay, pay, pay full price. That's tongue twister day, Tracy. You passed it on to me. So yeah, reach out to your consultant and talk about those host specials and how like you could, you could pack your camper with that Epic Life program collection. Um, you could pack your second home, your away from home, um, get your camping, your on the road stuff for free or half priced as a host as well. Um, yeah, so there's lots of things that we, you know, share today in lots of ways that you can definitely get those. Um, we're looking ahead to June. Um, we may not be stirring things up in June. I'm sorry, May. Um, we're looking ahead to May. We may not be stirring things up in, in May. We've got to kind of check on our long weekends are happening in May. So we'll see what our schedules are looking like and whether we can have those. But if not, we will be back here in June and we will be talking about all sorts of fun stuff. There's so many ways and so many ideas that we can come to you and just share Epicure. We are all passionate about our products, our company, and all that there is to share. And if you are as passionate about this as we are, maybe you should talk to your consultant about becoming a consultant too, because that's where we started too. We just love the product. Pass it back to you, Tracy. Is there anything you wanted to add? Absolutely. Thanks, Sherry. That was great. Uh, and I think the whole key is that when you're on the go, you don't have to abandon the way you were acting before. You can bring it all with you. And whether that means you want to continue to eat at home so you know what's in your food, because let's face it, the best way to avoid this list of stuff that you don't want to put in your family's food, this is our never ever list, the best way to avoid that, the best way to know what's in your food is to cook it yourself. So if you want to stick with the cook it yourself, at least some of the time, again, I love my restaurants. I want to support them, but I can't do it three meals a day during an entire vacation. So not only can you stick to whatever eating you want, if you're trying to change your eating habits and switch to mindful eating like the Epic Life Challenge, you can stay on that, but you can run a business like we run on the road. Um, so something to be mindful of, we have a brand new business kit, by the way, that is amazing. It looks so fantastic. I'm so excited to see one in person. I've only seen it in pictures. Um, so look to your consultant for an email um, or one of us leaders, an email that'll have a survey. And next time you join one of these, feel free to share it with others. We love to get people involved in our community and really pass the time with some of our stir crazy ideas. So we'll be back in, as Sherry said, probably in June, just because May has back-to-back -back long weekends for Canada and the US. So it makes it tricky for us to pick a weekend. Uh, and if you didn't know, we've got a brand new season launching very soon. So reach out to your consultant to ask questions and get those future bookings on, uh, on the table with them because you don't want to miss out on free and half price stuff.